Longford Town manager Neil Fenn joins me at Talca Park. Longford Town have gone down 1-0 against Shelburne. A controversial second half penalty for the Reds converted by Conan Barr and handed Longford a very unlucky defeat. Neil, your team, uh, maybe in the first half it's fair to say Shells were perhaps the better side, but in the second half you created numerous opportunities. Uh, I'm thinking particularly of one for Dean Byrne where he was in one-on-one -on -one and he blazes over. You've got to take those chances really if you want to win the game, don't you? Yeah, it's just what I said to him there. You know, the first half an hour I think Shells were on top in the first half, def definitely were on top. Um, but you're going to come to a place like this, you're going to have to weather the storm, and we did. The, the, the last 15 minutes of the second half, I thought we were very good. Sam Verdon misses, uh, uh, you know, a clear-cut chance from five or six yards out. Would have put us one new up. Come out in the second half, and I honestly don't think Shell's got in our half for probably 35 minutes until until the penalty. But, you know, I couldn't really see the penalty in for hours, but since I've been manager, I've been here three, three times and I give away four penalties. So just seems to seems to just happen for us. Yeah, it's a ground, I think, I'm just after hearing there. Uh, ten years now for town have gone now without a result here. It's, just, it's just very disappointing. You played so well in that second half, as we said, and to come away with just one incident defining the game for your team. Yeah, it's difficult because I'm, I'm just so pleased with how we played. I thought we were excellent. I thought we moved the ball, created chances. Like you say, Dean Byrne had a, had a, had a chance he should have scored. Aaron Dobbs has one way to keep and makes a great save, so and we had a lot of pressure. So from that point of view, yeah, I'm you know I'm delighted with how we played, but just to, just to come here and, and, and lose one nil like that is, is tough to take. Is it too early to say a result like that now gives Shells a bit of impetus now in the title race, or is it still very early days? Oh, it definitely gives them impetus. You know, they they, they put some clear top. Um, you know, if we win on Monday, we go second again. I haven't checked the league yet. So um, you know, we're still in it. We're still in it. We're not we're not out of it. And if we play like that every week, we, we'll be fine. It's a much better performance than the, than the two games we lost against Cabo and, and Galway, where we were poor. But today, I thought we were good. Um, when you come to plays like this, you know you just have to you have to be so on your toes all the time because they, they do get a lot of penalties. You know, I keep going on about penalties, but they do get a lot of penalties. That's like I say, four that we've conceded here, um, and they and, and they and they you know kind of burns and took us penalty well. Is that just down to maybe having a, a players in the squad with a little bit more experience? They've been around the block. I think so. I think it, you know they've got you know. Like you say, a lot of experience, a lot of lads who have been around. Maybe our lads are a little bit naive in, in some of the challenges they make. Maybe we're a little bit naive in, in that we don't go down and, and scream and, and you know maybe get ourselves penalties, but we don't do that. So um, we learn from it again. We thought we would learn last year, but we, we, we obviously haven't. But um, we'll we move on. It was, I'm pleased with how we played. I'm, I'm pleased with um, the chances we created, the, the, the football we played. Restricted shells to, I don't think they had a shot target in the second half apart from the penalty. So, um, you know, pleased with everything there, but obviously the result not not great. And um, it's a bit of a unique challenge coming up for yourself now. It's not something we we're used to in the first division. Such a quick turnaround. You get two days rest now, and then back into action at home against Galway on Monday. Obviously, Galway beat Longford Town quite recently in the first division. So you're looking to overturn that result. How do you uh, manage the squad now into that game? I think we'll be fine. You know, the boys are, they're, they're, they're recovery. We'll have a day off tomorrow. We'll have a recovery on Sunday, um, and then we we'll get ready for the game. The boys are fit. There's no problems there. Uh, as far as I know, nobody's carrying any, any knocks or anything else, so we got through the game unscathed, so we'll, we'll see how we get on against Galway. But uh, like I say, we bring lads on off the, off the bench and we've got good quality in the squad, so if we have to rotate, we can. Finally, I think uh, it was 1,100 here tonight, the attendance, uh, great support from Longford and a great atmosphere from both sets of fans. First half, as we said, probably a little bit cagey. Second half, there was uh, plenty of chances, exciting uh, moments in the game. Good effort for first division football. I thought it was a good game. I thought, like, like you say, the crowd had to it. Like, again, a good following from Longford, so you know it's great to play in front of big crowds because we don't move all the time. But, and the pitch was excellent, so it's um, it was a good place to play. Yeah, congratulations.